So after owning the Doc Martin Jadens for about six months, this is my personal experience with them. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the sizing of my Doc Martin Jadens, the comfort. Also, I'll be talking about the break-in period. How long did it take for me to break into these? And then lastly, I'll talk about the durability. And then I'm gonna add on some personal experience that I've had with my Jadens. I just wanna start out by saying the Jadens that I do have are the vegan ones, but I have also tried out the smooth leather Jadens and I have a bunch of different types of Doc Martens. So I kind of understand Doc Martens just a little bit. When it comes to sizing, with my Jadens, the one that I do have, the vegan ones, they're size nine. They're the exact size as my 1460s and my 1461s and even my Chelsea boots. But the biggest difference that I notice is that the vegan ones, they're a little bit tight. That's one thing to keep in mind. The vegans are a little bit tight, but when it comes to the other leather, they had a little bit more space. I also tried the soft leather, the piece leather, which I felt like the toe box, it had a little bit more space than the vegan one, or it's even comparable to the smooth leather. So when it comes to sizing, I'll just say things to watch out for. Finding your Doc Martin size can be very difficult, one thing that can help you, always go to a store, try them on because they do vary just a slight bit. And for me, I noticed that the vegan ones, they're a little bit tighter than the other types of leather. Breaking into Doc Martin definitely varies. It varies on not only the type of leather that you're getting, also the individual. Some people, they can take a little bit of pain while others, they cannot. So the breaking in period, it definitely varies, but here's some things that I did or with my Jadens, they're vegan and I definitely overestimated them or I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder to break into, but obviously the vegans are synthetic, so it made it very easy for me to break into. And literally after I think one wear, they were good and I was off and on the roads, I didn't have any problems with them or I just had a slight problem, but after that, they were good. Like I didn't have to struggle with them. I have to say the smooth leathers, they're gonna be the difficult ones to break into while on the opposite spectrum, you do have the soft leathers, which are very easy to break into. So when it comes to the Jadens, literally you have to decide on which one to get because that can affect how long it takes for you to break them in and then the Jadens, i would think they're a little bit harder to break into simply because of how thick the soles are it makes it a little bit harder to walk like the first time or something that you have to get used to if you're not used to it it's a different experiment or it's a different experience for the individual that is putting them on and it might be a little bit harder for you to really get comfortable in them. But for me, I got the vegan ones. They're good. I don't have to worry about them. They feel good all the time. I like the thickness of it. I like them. When it comes to durability, I'll have to say that these, they're definitely keeping up. But for me personally, I'm not wearing it like every day. I'm probably wearing it the most like once a week. Sometimes I'll skip a week, but depending on what I'm doing, the weather conditions and things like that, I feel like my Jadens, they're not like cold weather boots, but I do put them on when it's a little bit colder. Now that it's summertime, I'm not putting them on as much. And also, I just wanna say, I do wear mine in the rain. It's because they're vegan, they're easy to wipe off. I feel like they're fine. I haven't had anything like cracking or any bad damages that would happen to them. So these, they're keeping up pretty well. I feel like the soles, they're good, they're not, damaged or I don't feel like anything is wrong. The stitching is still good. I haven't noticed any malfunctions or any little things. So personally, when it comes to durability, I feel like I'm pretty much keeping up with it. I've seen other people that hopefully they've gotten uh, their money back if anything happens to their Doc Martens. But for me so far, everything's good. When it comes to my personal experience, probably the only thing that I did have was when I first got them, I remember like the first day I went to DC, it was pinching my foot, like I know, it was not working and for some reason, I don't know what it was, but maybe it's the way that I was tying it, but the Jadens were just, no, it was bad, I felt it and I did have like thick socks on, I don't know if that could have been it because the vegan ones, they're easier to break into, they're not real leather, they're synthetic, so I thought it would have been easier and 
yeah, I really like the the Jadens. I just feel like it's something that I have to get used to. For example, just styling them. I feel like I kind of struggle styling them because I don't want like my pants just to sit on top of them, kind of like all scrunchy. So I'm slowly getting into like buying wider pants and um, or like the bottom of the pants, making it a little bit wider where it drapes nicely over the boots. And uh, I feel like that's more of my style. It looks nice. And um, yeah, the Jadens are very interesting boot. And if you want some, I feel like they're good. I don't mind them. They're definitely worth it. But some people may not like it for what, $200? I feel like it's a good in-between kind of after the 1460s. If you don't get like the Made in England ones, 200 it's not bad. Hopefully the price doesn't go up, but I do actually like them. I do feel like they do have a purpose in my wardrobe. I do wear them more during the winter time. And um, yeah, also when it rains, you can find me wearing them. I just feel like since they're vegan, I just have to wipe them off and they're good to go. And um, yeah, I like my Jadens. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below.